Alrighty, fellas and fellas, welcome back to the Hot Damn Racing Team, and if you're new here, welcome. Alright, Hot Damn. Okay, so what I got going on here, in the last video we did the crankcase ventilation setup, which was putting a hole in the uh, OEM factory, or whatever you want to call it, what came with it, valve cover. Alright, the valve cover that seemed to be plastic, but it really was not. Okay, so it's more like a fiberglassy, that's what I'm going to think. The intake manifold is and that's why the intake manifold really didn't explode all right when uh, i had the little nitrous boom boom the uh the actual throttle body exploded or the uh throttle body blade bent before the plastic blew up which it's more like a a, a fiberglass a strong fibrous something it's kind of weird all right so just be careful when you're drilling into stuff because it might it might not seem what it is. Okay, so I got going on here, crankcase ventilation setup. I got a hole in the valve cover. All right, and that goes to a baffled catch can. Kind of hard to see here. A uh, little dark. All right, to this baffled catch can. Zoom in. Pow. Right in the kisser. Okay. Now it's all open right now. So I'm going to guess. See, there we go gonna get a lot of moisture and this little setup here can't pull a vacuum very well if it's open all right so what I want is pressure to escape but I don't want air moisture and other stuff cause coming in causing a problem maybe even idling issues which I don't know if I have it yet because I haven't really started it since I put it on but anyway I know it's gonna work so what I got here is a check valve it's a 10 a.m male to 10 a.m female it's adjustable ball check pat valve from 2 to 6 psi i guess from vibrant performance i believe it's, it's kind of expensive this was like 30 bucks i looked around on ebay until i got the deal i wanted so this is going to go on to the catch can and the hose coming from the valve cover is going to go to here all right so i have it adjusted to where it opens up, it, you know, with the smallest amount of force. So it doesn't take that much to open, all right, and should stay closed when there's a vacuum on it, all right? So it should open easy and stay closed when it should. And this will be easy deal here. Should just screw right on. Okay. Come on, it should screw right on. There it goes wasn't like right on but right on bro okay yeah so i've seen this done people they're doing what was that mmx kind of talked about it before selling these valve covers that are vented and you can get a vent with it so and that then is actually has a check valve in it and i've seen this on the mopars mustangs and different applications the check valve gonna want to have it I, i'm i can't explain all the science behind it but i know that you can have idling issues all right you can have moisture issues in your oil i believe all right um i guess the PCV system, PCV system can't draw a vacuum like it should. All right, having a vacuum in there isn't that bad. All right, I can't do it with one hand, it seems like. Okay, come on, pal. I'm stronger than this. There we go. Okay, come on. Ah, got it. Okay. Now, what that's going to do for me, well, what's this going to really do for me? Well, I got oil shooting into a place to where, you know, where you usually vent crankcase pressure. So I'm pushing pressure into the motor, all right, actually. And then with the turbo and the, uh, what do you call that, all the blow-by and stuff like that, there's a lot of ridiculous pressure stuff going on. So this right here was absolutely necessary for me while the truck is just cruising if i'm just idling cruising you know uh getting it parked throttle 
playing around. I won't have a, not one issue. Um, I did have, while I'm telling this story, there was a catch can hook to this. All right, so everything's cool until I did a good wide open throttle pump and boy, oil starts shooting right out of there. You know, you, that's my indication I have some problems. All right, so saying everything's good until you give it a couple good wide open throttle pumps. But there it is right there. So we got the baffled catch can and the check valve should be good to go. Now, I have to get you some daylight shots. Let's see here. Watch this. Boop. The light on the camera. There we go. Nothing super special, but, you know, necessary deals, in my opinion. y'all think you got excessive crankcase pressures going on you might be able to relieve it this way all right or just buy the valve covers all right i'm gonna uh, recommend the catch can deal all right if you're boosted if you're not boosted right and you're puking over here this can help you out and i think just the filter with the check valve will work for you but if you're boosted i think you're gonna want to go with the catch can and the check valve. There's a lot of pressure going on. Oh, well, that's it. That's the part two. That's as easy as that. I'm gonna say that's the complete system right there. That's complete setup. Hole in your valve cover. All right, little hose. Check valve. Baffled catch can. That should be it. All right, the next time we meet should be driving around a little bit i'm gonna drive it around a little bit and try to get out at the track december 3rd i believe on a saturday i'm trying to get out there on a saturday there there's a friday night deal too but i don't think i'm ready for that i would just want to go to testing too all righty y'all hot damn hell yeah y'all the baddest till next time get some